All right, friends. In this video, we're going to talk about JavaScript arrays. JavaScript arrays are used to store multiple values in a single variable. Okay, and uh, let's begin with this short example, and then I'm going to explain to you what exactly are arrays, and I'm going to try to help you appreciate how important they are for any programming language, not just JavaScript. Okay, open up the HTML tag and the body tag and open up the paragraph tag and say id is equal to demo okay and close the paragraph tag and say script all right var cars is equal to now open up the square bracket no oops, square bracket inverted commas sub another one volvo you can write the name of your favorite car doesn't matter bmw okay and close the square bracket and semicolon document dot get element by id okay i have a mistake here get element by id bracket where commas open demo dot inner HTML is equal to cars okay that's what's going to be uh, displayed close the script tag and I'll show you what happens close the body and the HTML tags all right perfect save the file as all right save it as save as JavaScript arrays all right never mind JavaScript arrays one okay the first example and also save as all files html all right let's find this file there you go all right now there is a lot of method to this simplicity let me show you okay i have here these uh, notes for you that explain exactly what an array is okay so what is an array an array is a special variable which can hold more than one value at a time if you have a list of items a list of car names for example storing the cars in a single variable could look like this variable car one car two car three however if you want to look through the cars and find a specific one and what if you had not three cars over 300 the solutions array so if you have a single variable for example car one it can store only one value sub car two can only store one value volvo and car three can only store one value which is bmw but an array array can store sub volvo bmw mercedes jetta you name it audi any any car all the car names so creating an array using an array literal is the easiest way to create a javascript array syntax is like this bar array name you just write an array name here is equal to square brackets are typical of an array item one item two and ellipsis indicates you can go on for as long as you know you do not deplete the memory of the programming language okay mem mem memory available to execute the program so that such is the power and vastness of an array all right let's look at one more example here to describe what errors do for us let me go back to this page and delete this program and let's begin another example okay before i delve into another example let me just explain to you a few rules for creating arrays just a few rules okay not much something that you can easily remember okay html open up html tag open up body tag and say paragraph id is equal to demo Okay, close the paragraph tag and open up the script tag. 
Okay, and save war cars is equal to open up the square bracket and say again. Um, let's do the tab here. Yeah, just to keep things you know clear. Remember, it doesn't make any difference in the program, right? Comma. Okay. Uh, comma. Yes. Hit enter and tab Volvo. Okay, and I'm going to add another comma, enter and tab. The last one I have here is BMW, but I am not going to add any comma after this. Please remember this always. Okay, save yourself a heartache, make your life easy. Never add comma in the last piece of last piece of array. Okay, last array element. For example, okay, if you say there is a basket of fruits, you would say uh, in the basket of fruits, you have apple, comma, oranges, comma, watermelon, comma, strawberry. And then if there is no more fruit, you won't add a comma after strawberry, right? And uh, you would continue with the sentence or you add a period. Just like that, do not add a comma after the last array element. Document dot get element by ID. demo dot inner html is equal to cars close the script tag close the body tag and html tag all right and let me show you what happens it's going to have the same result as before let's save this file as also as HTML dot HTML save and there you go same result notice that writing something horizontally or sorry vertically uh, writing your arrays vertically does not change the orientation in the browser okay now you're ready let's start with the real example of javascript not that this wasn't real but this was very basic all right just let me find the example okay supposing you want to access the elements of an array okay uh first okay did i tell you that saab volvo bmw are nothing but elements of the array okay what if you have an array of 300 elements and you want to access a particular element okay this is just like a cd and you have like 10 songs in the cd and you want to listen to one song at a time right you can't listen to all the songs at the same time so you're going to access one song and maybe you want to access the seventh song so how are you going to access the seventh song you're going to call the seventh song by its number that is number seven in the same way you're going to call uh you're going to access an element of an array by using its uh, element number or array number okay and uh, you refer to an array element by referring to it what's the uh, all the numbers here 0 1 2 3 4 5 okay these are elements of an array and these are known as index index number each element has an index number let me write this down each element in an array has a unique index number and okay i do see a spelling mistake it really bugs me okay and index numbers always begin with a always begins with a zero all right all right and if you have an element that looks like this var car name okay var name is equal to cars zero okay this statement modifies the first element in cars so car zero 
so uh, if the car zero is Saab so this is how you're going to refer it using its index number car zero is equal to Saab that's the value is that clear all right let's begin with this example in which we are going to access array let me erase this out all right great begin typing all right open up the doctype.html doctype html tag doc doctype html open up the html tag open up the body tag and open up the paragraph tag and say id is equal to demo okay and close the paragraph tag open up the script tag here and say var cars is equal to sub volvo bmw and say document dot get element by id demo dot in our html is equal to cars zero okay and end of script tag end of body tag and end of html tag okay let's save this file as file save as Three. Oops. Three. Oh. All right, and also save it as dot html is save, and let's find the file. That's it. You just accessed one element in the array. Simple, simple programs. Okay, just to understand the power of arrays okay what if you want to access the entire array just call the array car that's it okay save and refresh it's going to call all of them that's how you access the entire array okay now let's look at this next example here okay it's all about arrays are objects so arrays are special type of objects and the type of operator you remember the type of operator let me delete this okay the type of operator remember okay the type of operator in javascript returns object for arrays so if you say type of arrays it's going to say object okay the javascript arrays are best described as arrays arrays are used to access its elements in this example okay let's work on let's access the element of the object array okay it's similar to what we have done but we're just accessing at a, a, an array as an object let me delete this and let's let's work on the next example all right all right let's open up this array here uh, sorry the program doc type HTML open up the HTML tag open up the body tag and say h1 JavaScript arrays okay just say that and open up the paragraph tag and say arrays use numbers to access its elements uh, all right close the paragraph tag 
okay and hit enter and open up another paragraph tag in which you declare the id is equal to demo okay close the paragraph tag and open up the script tag var person is equal to john comma do uh, don't forget to add inverted commas in the elements of the array and 46 just add 46 without any inverted commas okay no comma after 46 that is the person array declared person array object document dot get element by id demo dot inner html is equal to person and i need only the value zero i'm going to access that close the script tag the body and the html tag perfect let's save the file as file save as javascript array 4 all files dot html save all right javascript arrays arrays use numbers to access its elements john okay array number zero is nothing but john this is the zero position index number zero position it's position number index number is the same thing just like in the cd player you have first song second song third song so all of these are position numbers in the cd or index numbers or the serial numbers okay all right let's look at the next example it gets slightly more complex with each example all right then the javascript objects use names to access its members okay in this example person dot first name we're going to use another example here returns john okay let me show you there's another way of accessing javascript uh, variables html open up html tag open up the body tag and open up the h1 tag and say javascript objects okay close the h1 tag okay open up the paragraph tag and say javascript uses names to access object properties okay period okay open up the paragraph tag and say id is equal to demo okay close the paragraph tag and open up the script tag okay var person is equal to open up curly bracket first name John J O Chen. Last name Do H forty six. Close the curly bracket. Please do not place a comma after forty six. Document dot get element by ID. Okay, uh, document dot get element by id demo dot inner html is equal to person open up your square bracket and say first name this is another way of accessing okay close the square bracket and 
semicolon close the script tag close the body tag and close the HTML tag all right let's save this file as file save as this is five cool okay and also save as dot html all right javascript uses names to access object properties same thing if you add person if you do this it's the same as doing this that's what it means all right let's end this video here and up next more interesting examples of about javascript stay tuned